you know, now I think about it, I feel like um, the last time when I do my workout, I had the wrong idea of um, holding it a certain amount of seconds and then just stop, even though I have the strength to like push it for like five more seconds, I just stop when it hits like 10 seconds or 15 seconds. Now I don't do it anymore because um, I just want to like see how far I can push it like with my eyes closed or just like feel feeling my body rather than like listening to the statistics and yeah I feel like I have the wrong approach like before I was really scared that like my form's gonna look really bad and here and there but now when I think about it like uh form look bad like that's beginner's issue and as long as you keep training like you will build up the strength to do a you know a better form so see if I can do a front lever with like acceptable form that doesn't really injure me and if I can't hold it at that position then I will like go for a regression or a easier variation and then you know just like see if I can uh improve it that way and I'm resting for like at least four minutes or five minutes between my sets and yeah so I did two sets already gonna do like two more sets and right now I feel like I can push it further but my shoulder is like making me a little concerned my left shoulder like when I was doing my rotation my arm circles it felt slight uh, discomfort a little bit of pain but I don't think it's that big a deal so I'm gonna continue and see if it gets worse if it did get worse then I'm just gonna stop for today and recover for like maybe a week instead of like breaking this shoulder entirely and then rest for like two months or a year you know Oh, I didn't know my socks it got a hole in them whoops hmm. anyways uh, what am I doing again uh, gonna rest for one more minute and gonna do my last set for my unsupported and I'm gonna switch to purple band again for full front lever to see how that goes It's better than the previous three uh, sets. My last set is like better, it's like a lot better. So I feel like the reason is because like I started using my false grip. Like instead of holding it like down here, I start to go like over a slight bit. But that did help me like get it more stable and I can hold it there longer without like my hips dropping down. So that was really good discovery. I learned something new today. Anyways, uh, purple band. Instead of like dropping down on my, on that side, perhaps I should like go for easier variation, which is like either one leg or go for shadow. Cause I'm doing like not that many uh, volume that's why like i really have to emphasize on the intensity and as well as like the quality of the workout so if i just like give up mid set with all like adding enough intensity it might not be the result i want so i feel like if i can just like go for regression like drop down a level and continue with my set to hit that range i will be 
much better off. Let's uh, do my Sharon dynamic. I'm going to do like one leg, see if I can do one leg, and then I uh, switch to advanced hook if I can't. And let's try it. <sighs> oh, can't control your way down though. That was fun, but yeah, I'm just really not sure about my form. That's all. I'm gonna rest for a few minutes and see how it goes in the next set. Yeah, I definitely use like a lot of my core and a lot of my leg to get myself up there, which is okay, but like I feel like it would be a better idea if I use my arm and my back more to like uh to actually like press the far down and then my entire body goes up I think that's gonna help me and that's what I kind of did at the end of my first set like on my fourth and fifth rep but I just feel like I just couldn't go any further because my legs were like blocking the the bar were blocking my legs so I cannot go like full way and I don't know I feel like if I got if I just keep training it and Hopefully like one day my lats is gonna be strong enough for me to like only using my arm to like go uh hit the bar. <sighs> That's really fun, but it takes a lot of your energy away. Uh, all right, let's move on to Rose and call your day. feels like I can do better but at the same time I just don't know how to actually execute the movement so perhaps next time I might try like four sets of uh, rows or I can just like let the time comes and see if I can actually know how to execute the movement because it's a strange movement for my body like last week was the first week that I actually start training for this type of rows so maybe that's why it kind of threw me off so you know uh, <clears throat> overall I feel like today's workout is pretty good at least I learned something new like um, I learned that like false grip is gonna help you a lot so really start to like utilize it if you can if your wrist is strong enough for it and then also make sure like you are um, if you're doing like supported static make sure you like 
to actually go for the range like 10 to 15 by like go for a regression or like go for easier variation instead of like stopping at halfway yeah tomorrow is my uh, first day of school so gonna go back see all the familiar faces for the last time because i'm a senior in high school right now so i'm a senior doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it this way all right let's do my last one and see if this one can be any better hopefully it will Oh, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> A little too much fun. <laughs> oh, that was fun. At the end, it starts to like focus a lot on my core, which is like trying to hold the position, which is quite interesting. That was fun. Oh, I'm gonna train for a dragon flag in the future as well. During like leg day or rest day. That's fun. Okay, let's wrap up and do a pump check. All right, pump check. Let's see how I look today. Standing is a little weird. Mm -hmm. Anyways. <laughs>